and today I want to show you how I create a listening lesson for my student using one of the TEDx videos. And I want to provide some practice uh, for my students with listening, uh, with watching videos. And the students in my classes are at the high intimate level. And I have about 20 students in my class. And um, this lesson will be about 100 to 120 minutes long. And there will be st three major stages in this lesson. The pre-listening, the while listening, and the post-listening. And this is the video that I chose from the TED app. Um, it's called Song in Paper, and the reason for me to show this um, video because it has a quite reasonable length. It's about five minutes and forty-seven uh, seconds, and it is spoken at a normal speed. I will play the video a little bit so that you have some idea about um, the video itself. They've sat with us at nearly every table, a pair that's partnered most of the meals ever cooked in Western kitchens. A yin and yang, darkness and light. So that is a video, and this is my pre-listening activity. Um, the purpose of this activity is to have the student to generate interest into the topic, and I also want to introduce some vocabulary and images in the video. Uh, importantly, I want them to practice the predicting skills uh, by looking at some the visual cues from the video. This is an important skill when they uh, watch the video um, and listening. And I also want them to activate some background knowledge about the topic. And the activity uh, will take about 20 to 25 minutes and in order to implement this activity I will prepare maybe three to or four pictures from the video itself and uh, I will uh, divide the students into um, a small groups of four or five and then I will ask each group to come up with as many words um, of things that they see in the picture as possible and then um, after about 10 minutes I will, uh, will ask each group to report the number of the words that they have and then share it with the whole class. And after that I will tell them that those are, are pictures from the video and I will ask them to guess what the topic of the video might be and I also want them to explain why they think so because I really want to emphasize uh, on the connection between the, uh, the guess and the pictures that they um, seen. And then I will write all the possible topics that they come up with on the board and then we will watch the video uh, for the first time and we will decide which is the uh, uh, correct guess. The next one that you can see here is another two photos uh, that I got it from the video. And then you can see these two uh, pictures also provide some um, scientific terms that the student can uh, learn from so that it will help them better when um, watching the video. The next activity is for uh, the student when they're watching the video and I want them uh, to practice the note-taking skills and then listening for comprehension. And in order to do that, I uh, will need to prepare two activities and for uh, this, um, I would need um, 50 to 60 minutes. Um, there will be two handouts that I need to prepare. The first one is for note-taking skills. Um, as you can see on the slide on the right, um, that is the incomplete outline that I prepare based on um, the lecture. To implement this activity, I will follow a number of steps. Um, the first one, I will give a student this uh, incomplete outline and then I will ask them to fill out it uh, while watching the video and then I will have them work in group of three and then share the answers and then discuss the answers. And after that, we will share as a whole class and then we will watch the video and then check the answers together. Uh, the next activity is for checking comprehension. For this, um, and you can see on the right of the slide, I prepare several questions. Um, those are for main ideas of the video and um, detailed uh, information in the video. Um, and in order to implement this activity, I also follow the similar steps. So have a student work individually uh, while watching the video, and then they will discuss the answers with uh, other um, students in the group, and then we will share it as a whole class, and then we will uh, watch the videos for the last time for checking. The last stage is for post-listening. Uh, after watching the video and then answering all the questions, I really want the student to expand the knowledge about the topic and um, 
to connect um, themselves to the topic. And then I also want them to practice um, expressing their opinions and then thinking particularly about the topic. And for this activity, I'll think about um, 20 to 25 minutes uh, to conduct it. And um, I just need to prepare several discussion questions. Um, I can either prepare them in um, handout or buy on the board and the student can discuss um, in groups. Um, and then after about um, 15 minutes, I will ask the student to share uh, their discussion uh, with the whole class. Um, and you can see here several discussion questions that I have for the lesson. Uh, the first one is, what is the most interesting thing you have learned from the video? And the uh, other two questions um, I come up with it because it's quite connected to uh, my culture uh, because we also use salt and pepper but for um, other um, ways of preparing food. So I think that uh, asking this question will help the student to connect themselves to the topic.